respawn again. Do you play single player and wish that you could respawn like you can in multiplayer? Well now you can. Respawn in single player. Today I'm going to share with you a code that you could use in your single player scenarios that will allow you to respawn and keep playing. We're going to go to this location and we're going to set up a little scenario. We're going to set this on the contact platform because we are on Livonia. We're going to collapse this. We're going to go to NATO, Woodland, and then Men. And then we're going to choose a Rifleman and place him right about here and face him this direction. Now that's all we're going to do for our scenario at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the save icon at the top left. We're going to choose Livonia and we're going to name this respawn underscore single player. Alright, now that we have our mission saved, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to a forum thread that I created that will have the code that I'm going to show you how to use and set up. So let's go there now and take a look. Alright, here we are on the respawn and single player release thread. This thread can be found on the BI forums in the Arma 3 mission and editing and scripting section of the forum. I will link this forum thread in the description of the video. That way you can come here and have your reference and be able to get the code. All right, starting off, this code was written by my good friend, Gear. So credits to him. I went to him with this idea of being able to respawn in single player, which means that you could respawn in the editor when you're playing your scenario in preview or you can respawn in the scenario tabs for whatever mission that you export. So here's the basic features of the single player. So you could set up a respawn anywhere you want, set up with a base respawn marker. So all you need to do is basically just place a marker on the map wherever you want to respawn to, give it a name, define the name in the code, and then basically when you die you'll respawn there. You could set up random markers where when you respawn you'll basically respawn at one of the markers so it kind of randomizes your position. You won't know where you're going to respawn at. You could also set up a mobile respawn by giving a vehicle a name and you will respawn wherever that vehicle is. You could use the code as an external script if you don't want to use the code directly in the init.sqf you could save your loadout on respawn or use the default loadout that you have set for the editor placed unit. You could define how many times you want to respawn and you can have unlimited respawns. Your body will also be removed upon death, which is basically automatic corpse removal. Here is the installation and setup. So this is pretty simple. All you need to do is create a notepad, notepad plus document and copy and paste the following code into it. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this code all the way to the bottom and you're going to press control C and what you're going to do now is we're going to start up a notepad document so just click on notepad make sure your cursor is blinking and we're just going to press control V to paste the code. So that pastes the code. All you need to do is save it. So just click on file, go to save as. You're going to go to save as type and then click on that and go to all files. Then go to the file name and you're going to name this init.sqf. Make sure it says init.sqf and nothing else. Next, we're going to locate our mission folder. For me, it's going to be right here. We're going to go to Livonia and we're going to locate our mission which is going to be towards the bottom. Respawn in single player. We're going to open that and you're going to save your mission into your mission folder. So just make sure that the init.sqf is in your mission folder. So just click on save and the mission will be there. For now let's get back into the mission and, and set up to use the script. What we need to do next is for a base respawn we need to go to markers and we're going to scroll in and we're going to place a marker at our location. So we're going to place a start marker and we're just going to place it in front of the player face it this direction. We're going to give it the color of blue. Then we're going to name the marker M1. 
Alright, so that sets up our marker. What we need to do next is we need to go to the mission folder, add name of the marker to the code. So let's save our mission first, and then let's go to scenario, and then down to where it says open scenario folder. Here we are in our scenario folder, and here is the init.sqf that we created from the release thread. So let's open it. So here is the code. Let's go over this code real quick. These three lines here are the parameters of the, the code, which you can change. All the rest of it, uh, you don't need to touch or look at or anything. You just need to worry about these. In this first line here, line two, it says RYD SPR respawn positions. This is basically the respawn points or names of the respawn points that you're gonna have set. Now by default, I already have set M1 as the respawn marker. What you're gonna do is put M1 in quotes in between the brackets just like I have here. Now the next line of code is RYD SPR respawns. This says number two. This is basically the amount of respawns that you can have. So you'll respawn two times before the mission will end. And if you wanted unlimited respawns, then you do something like this where you, you set negative one. That will make it unlimited. But we're just going to do two for now. This next line here, this next parameter here, is RYD SPR changed loadout. This is basically what's going to save your loadout if you want your loadout saved. If set to true, new unit will get old units loadout as it was at death. This means your loadout will be saved for whatever you added. So if you changed your loadout or you picked up weapons before you died, it will, it will save upon the respawn. Now if you didn't, you will get the default loadout of the unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to false, which means that when I respawn, then I will get the default loadout that my unit currently has. So let's save that and we have our marker name defined. So let's go back in the mission and test it out. Let's go to the map and as you can see here, we have the start marker with the name of M1 and that's where we're going to respawn. So all we have to do is just hit play scenario. All right, again, we have our marker on the map. That's exactly where we're going to spawn. So we're going to go over here, throw a grenade and kill ourselves. <sighs> Yeah, I'm running some mods, so just let you know. So we respond at our marker. I just happen to move. Your body will be deleted. As you can see, it'll sink into the ground and delete. And the gun will eventually disappear too. And there it goes. So now we have respawned. We have the same loadout that we had prior to respawn. So the respawn is instant. There are some limitations to this, and it's done that way. Otherwise, you'd get the uh, single player and end game screen, which you don't want because it would be basically mission over. So we had to kind of adjust the codes so that it would be instant. All right, let's kill ourselves again, and let's see what happens since we only have two respawns left. respawn again. And then our body is going to sink into the ground and delete. And there you go. Alright, so we kill ourselves again. This will basically end the mission because we only have two respawns. All right, let's go back to the editor. I'm going to show you guys how to set up a mobile respawn. So we're going to go to cars and we're going to place down a hunter. And we're going to place the hunter right here. I'm going to face it this direction. 
what we're going to do is we're going to go to the map and we're going to delete our base respawn marker and we're going to edit the hunter and give the marker name to the hunter. So we're going to name this M1 and just hit OK. Now let's save that but let's go back to our scenario folder. Alright back in our scenario folder we're going to bring up the code again and basically for a mobile respawn is you're going to remove the quotes. So mobile respawns you're just going to have just the name of the vehicle. It doesn't have to be M1. It could be whatever name you want, but you just can't have quotes for vehicles. We'll just save that and let's go test it out. All right, back in the mission. Now let's play it. All right, so here we go. And remember, we got two respawns, so. Park the respawn, the uh, vehicle here, and we'll just go somewhere else and get ourselves killed. Go over here. Oh, here we are. I can see the dust over there. So, as you can see, we now respawned by our vehicle. Just like that. Let's try this again. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go right here. Ooh. You can see we died over there. Yeah, I know it's instant, but like I said, if we didn't have a certain code in it, then it would the mission would end before uh, before you get to your uh, respawn point. So this fixes it. All right, let's go back to the editor. Let's get rid of the vehicle, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the the map and we're gonna place down a start marker again, and we're gonna name this. M1. We'll just leave the color as it is. We'll copy this marker. Press Control C, and we'll paste one here, and we'll paste one here, and we'll paste one here. All right. So we have M1, M2, three. Let's save that and then go to our scenario folder. All right, back in our mission folder and back in the script. Here we have our marker name, M1. And what I'm going to do is just add the other three, three uh, marker names to it. So basically what you do is you're going to put a comma after quotes and then put the next marker name and then a comma and then quote the next marker name, comma, end quote, etc. So just basically just like this. You could also just go M, M1, M2, M3, M4, it doesn't matter, but it's got to be the same as it is in the uh, editor in your mission. We're going to set this to true, which will save our loadout that we had prior to death, before we died, and that's it. So let's go back into the mission and test it out. All right, back in the mission, let's play it. All right, let's, so let's kill ourselves. <clears throat> So we are now at another marker. Let's go somewhere else. And respawn here. It should be random, so... Ooh, right on the wall. This one. Oh, we're over here now. And one more time. Oh, 
that just killed us. Alright, let's do something else. I'm going to edit this and I'm going to give this guy a loadout. So right now, we're respawning with this guy's loadout. So I'm going to give him a loadout, which is going to be... This is our loadout. So this will be our loadout, and let's see if he responds with it. So this will save your loadout. As you can see, I have the gun that I set for this. Alright, let's do something fun. Put down some enemies. Let's go to Independent. And we're going to place down some enemies. Use a criminal gang. And these guys are going to basically attack me. Seek and destroy, and we have to go to attributes, go to general, and change these guys so that they're enemy to us, and let's save that. Here we go. All right, so if I die, I'm gonna respawn at one of the locations. Let's have these guys kill us. These guys are a terrible shot. I'm right in front of you. So we respond back at the church, and we have our default loadout. And we respond with everything that we started with. Let's see if we take these guys out again. killed me. And we respawned again. Now if I die again, then this guy... will be mission over. Nope. Because I had... I said it for three respawns. Alright, where are we? We're over here this time. Yeah, I don't like to instant respawn myself, but uh, that's just how this is going to work. Okay. This is a profound addition to the Arma 3 community and I hope that you guys will reach out to Rite Gear and give them the credits for this code. And just remember you have your optional parameters. You could also set up external script. Here's the instructions for the basic base respawn and the mobile respawn. If there are any questions you could always ask in the comments of the video or reply to the release thread seen here. Alright guys for more codes and scripts take a look at this playlist.